This is the continuing story of Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie. Warner Anderson as Matthew Swain. Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi. And Mia Farrow as Allison McKenzie. On a sunny morning almost 300 years ago, a young woman was drummed across this square to do public penance in the pillory. Afterwards, they shaved her head and sent her out of town forever. But like every girl in today's Peyton Place, Betty Anderson has heard this story many times. But knowing it didn't stop her from giving her love. Hello, Allison. You're looking at that as though it's the first time you've ever seen it. Was I? Yes, you were. Maybe I was. Why do they keep it here? Oh, visitors. Summer tourists, I guess. Not for us. What do you mean? Well, we see it too. We see it every day. We never think about it. Do you, Allison? Well, not exactly. I mean, I know it's here. So did I. See you, Allison. Aren't you coming to school? Not today. Bye, Allison. Goodbye. I've got to go to school. Service with a smile. Drive you straight to the door. It's it's out of your way. Yeah, maiden, your way is my way. Didn't you know that? You know what I did this morning? First thing when I woke up? No, it was second. First, I brushed my teeth. I'm very hygienic. I said, Allison McKenzie. Just like that. Allison McKenzie. That's amazing. Isn't it? You know what I said next? I wouldn't dare guess. I said, you've got a date with her. At least you think you've got a date with her. The big deal right now is make sure she remembers. Right? Right. So here I am. Why wouldn't I remember? I was a little shook up last night, Alice. I wouldn't blame you if you just said forget it. I was, I was a little shook up, too. And it's a deal? There's just one thing. Betty Anderson. Past tense. What's wrong? You make it sound so casual. About Betty? Yes, I thought you... No. It's not casual, Allison. It's, um... Uh, it's just over. I talk that way, Allison. A little flip. The fence mechanism. Come on. Hop in. No woman can clue you in on how to handle me. <laughs> Are you going to need handling? Not at a quarter to nine in the morning. I don't really get going until about noon. <laughs> Were you ever treated by Dr. Brooks? Yes. Recently? Well, not for years, just childhood diseases. I wish this were one. I haven't examined you yet. I told you how I feel. Let's see if I can find your medical history. 
I, uh, I must be one of your first patients here. Yes. Welcome to our Puritan village. Well, I'm no Puritan. Did you happen to notice that thing in the square down there, that, that wooden thing with the holes for the arms and the head? You mean the pillory? That's how they used to punish people. Well, that's 200 years ago. Times change. That's what you think now, Dr. Rossi. You change your mind if you stay here in Peyton Place. 